Welcome back. Football players take some of the hardest hits in the sports world, and all of those hits can have a severe impact on players' brain, leading to concussions and even death. A team of researchers called the Purdue Neurotrauma Group have designed a helmet that monitors the risk for concussions and brain injuries. Here to tell us more about the helmet is Professor Eric Nauman. Uh, Nauman. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being sure. here this morning, Professor. Sure, my pleasure. So tell me a little bit first about the research that the Neurotrauma Group does. Sure. So we got started trying to figure out why uh, you know, two players hit their heads, equal and opposite forces, um, but one kid gets a concussion, another doesn't. That's, that's what we went in trying to figure out. And as it evolved, we found that uh, um, athletes who, who had a large number of hits actually were showing big changes in their neurophysiology without showing any symptoms. And we were seeing changes that we could measure, or uh, Dr. Talavich could measure, uh, in about half the players. And so that led us on to look at soccer, look at high school versus college, try to figure out, well, when do these changes occur? What's the risk factor involved? What, what can we do to prevent those types of neurophysiological changes? And in the past, researchers may have thought that, well, because maybe some of these children aren't very big, they're not moving at very high rates of speed, that might not contribute to brain damage. But your research with young people suggests that's probably not the case. Yeah, we, with the biggest hit we've seen was 289 Gs and just it's not a very good comparison, but for comparison, roller coasters max out usually around six or seven Gs. And uh, the kid who got the 289 G hit was fine. But in that same game, somebody uh, with a 240 G hit uh, had a severe injury. And so we just don't have a, a good sense for why one person gets hurt and why another one doesn't. But what we've seen is that the accumulation of hits, whether they're small or large, tends to lead you down the road of, uh, of neurophysiological impairment. And we're learning more about these brain injuries, it seems, every year. I mean, this research has come a long way in the last decade, 15 years. So tell us what we can expect to be in terms of treating these kind of problems we see on the field in 10 to 15 years from now. I think, I think in 10 to 15 years, we're going to have a much more comprehensive response. So we're going to have better equipment, better sensors. Um, we'll be able to call penalties automatically. We'll be able to uh, uh, teach players better technique, have better rules in place. I think ultimately um, football can be played in, in a way that's safe or I, I guess at least as safe as other sports, right? So, uh, so I think when, if we have that comprehensive approach, we'll be in pretty good shape. All right, Professor Eric Nauman from the Purdue Neurotrauma Group, thank you very much. My pleasure.